Hi guys, welcome to Epic Men. It's a joy to have you be able to join myself, Gary, and Jacob. Hello. And uh, we have been on a journey in the book of Ro uh, Romans. Yeah, I think Proverbs is <laughs> where we're at. I've been in Proverbs. Huh? I yeah, don't that's know right. Where oh, you've been, been in Proverbs, okay, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it's been a joy to be yeah. able to walk you through all of this. Yeah, it has. Yeah. And there's so much more to be able to look at yet, too. Absolutely. So it's it's really been fun. But I we want to look at a verse here. It's chapter 12 and verse 18. And we're using the New Living Translation and it puts it this way. Some people make cutting remarks, but the words of the wise bring healing. Wow, what a, what a statement and all. Yeah, that's right. What do you got on Wor this, man? Words are extremely powerful mm -hmm. and I'm just reminded of what James says, James says our tongue is as a. It says our tongue is a fire, and so yeah. um, it, it likens it to you know a spark is very small, just like our tongue is very small, mm -hmm. but just like a spark can create a whole forest fire, yeah. your tongue can create an entire fire. And you know we just had in California all these huge fires. Mm -hmm. uh, was it just last year, yeah, right? Right. And um, it, you know, one little spark devastated miles and miles right. of land right. and so I know so many of you have been hurt and you could probably even remember things that were said to you as a child because yeah. of the impact of words and That's so right. on the flip side are we being are we those that are bringing blessing to others are we using mm -hmm. our words um, as a as a weapon in the hand of God to do good yeah you know sometimes we can use our words and as we speak them we speak them from our own personal perspective yeah, in other right. words, and, and which is not uncommon for any of us at all, but I speak from where I'm coming from. Uh -huh. That may or may not be beneficial for you. Oh, that's great. Yep. You know, that way. Because you're coming from a whole different aspect. Yeah. And, right. and if, when I'm not sensitive to somebody else in the words that I speak, it can actually bring hurt yeah. and harm to them. You know, uh, you know, I've referenced this many times before, but... But I, I've learned that particularly with my wife and my kids, where I've come along and I've spoken something just to speak it. And it's like, then it's like you see the reaction on their face and it's like they're upset or hurt or angry yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, okay, that didn't go well. <laughs> that didn't come across the way yeah. Yeah. I intended for it to come across. Sure. And you have to backtrack them right. and be able to do that. Put out the fire. Huh? Right, like exactly. <laughs> putting out the fire yeah. and, and be able to do that because we want our words to bring healing to people. That's right. Yeah. right. So, you know, before you you spout off, <laughs> yeah. pause. And how is this really going to come across? And I know for some of us, you know, we're angry and we react and, uh, you know, here we go and all. But if we can teach ourselves to pause... Yes. Before we open up our mouth, and uh, maybe, maybe we'll prevent hurt yeah. in other people. That's so good. Let's pray on that. God, just like Psalms talks about putting a guard on, the, the psalmist talks about putting a guard on his mouth. God, would mm -hmm. you do that for us? Yes. God, would you put a guard on our mouth that we wouldn't, like Gary said, be so quick to bring um, hurtful words, but God, we bring words that would bring life mm -hmm. and healing and encouragement to people. So God, yes. we give you our tongues today. And uh, we just ask, Lord, that you'd help us. Help us in our words. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. We hope that you were encouraged. And uh, like, do a like, comment, subscribe. But we'd love to even see your comments, too. Yes. I think that's really helpful. So thank you, guys. We'll see you next time.